Fuck them motherfuckers, man. You see this bitch ass shit? You see how they be taking the serving us, man? They be taking the serving us. Got ragger, all this shit, man. For what? For what? And then they wonder why people say fuck them. I ain't nail motherfucker out here in no ride, girl. I mean, say what's, say what's up to it. Say what's up. What's up, y'all? Hey, rock at hit like a bitch. Hey, start up, start up, start up. All right, baby, so what brings you out here, man? Man, first off, we need justice. Right. The system is not fair, all, all right? right. You, you know, and you come down here to have a voice. And if you don't say anything, that's fine. You still down here. Everybody be safe, though, overall. My yeah, mind is. Man, I already know. Appreciate that, boy. All right, man. That's why we should have went to the governor's house, man. That's why the fuck we should have went to the governor's mansion. Goddamn fuck them motherfuckers, man. You see this bitch ass shit. You see how they be taking the serving us, man? They be taking the serving us. Got ragger, all this shit, man. For what? For what? And then they wonder why people say fuck them. I ain't nail a motherfucker out here in no ragger. I ain't nail a motherfucker out here. No, 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 no. So, what, what, what brings you out here? You know, I'm just out here doing a peaceful protest. You just heard George Floyd. He couldn't breathe. We tired of this. Years and years of oppression. But, but 400 years is over with. We in 401. We, we, we taking over now. Y'all gonna hear us. And that's just the bottom line. I see they got the whole freeway blocked yes, up. Yes, you know, we was down there knocking over the sand barricades, letting them fill us. Y'all ain't coming through here. Just like we can't do what we want to do, y'all can't do what y'all want to do. Y'all ain't taking over shit. Yeah, yeah, that way. My son. Uh, <laughs> motherfucker tripped me to come around on the game. That shit hurt. You? On the hood. I said, damn, this is where I'm at. Oh, no. <laughs> Who is that? That's Kennedy. Was, that's how I'm getting the video real quick. Yeah, so <laughs> that's how I'm getting the video. I'm just asking. Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Without that badge, you a bitch in the hell. Fuck the police. 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 Fuck the I'm gonna go to the bottom of this. 
<laughs> on the hood. Oh shit. Oh right now, nah, hell no. Oh god. <laughs> I'ma keep it a whole butt 50 with you. I ain't seen the video. I still don't want to see the video because those videos be too painful to watch. And honestly, I wasn't even really gonna talk about this whole topic. You're probably wondering why. Because honestly, I feel like black people was gonna do the same format we've been doing for the whole past couple of years. The whole social media post and peaceful protest. And me, I've never really been a big fan of the whole peaceful protest thing because I honestly think it's not gonna get us nowhere. Like, think about it. Like, say for instance, you got a bully, right? And you constantly getting beat up by the bully. He beats you up, he beats you up. You telling him to stop, right? You keep telling him to stop. But he's not gonna stop because why? He has fun out of it. But then you hit that motherfucker back. He'll be like, oh, he got a little swing to him. So I'm like, hey, we riding? Hey, we loop? <laughs> Like, honestly, I just don't think the whole peaceful protest thing is not gonna get us nowhere. Like, America was built on violence. Like, we're the only country in the whole world that has a gun culture. And you honestly think you're gonna get to these people non-violently. Like, honestly, really think about that. So whenever I seen the whole looting and stuff, I was like, damn, that's fucked up. Hey, they gonna feel us though. And I was on the, I was on the phone with my homeboy, Key, and we, I asked him about the whole situation. He was just like, shit, I been telling these motherfuckers, they need to shoot back. You said it, you said it, not me, you said it. But honestly, I feel like that's the only way that Motherfuckers gonna feel you. Uh, I was watching my homegirl Ariane's video. It was a very touching video. Shout out to Ariane. It was very, y'all need to go check that out. It was a very beautiful video. But in the video, she was just basically talking about how like she's mixed. And whenever these racial stuff will happen, she would always feel like she's in between the whole situation because mostly her family's white, but she's mixed and he has melanin and stuff like that. And I feel like a lot of people are in that whole situation, like they don't know what to do because I go to a PWI and there's some cool white people, you know what I'm saying? I feel like this generation is like the first generation of like non-racist white people, but they still got racist mothers and grandmothers, so they be in between the whole situation. But say for instance, you in a situation like this where you want to say something, but you feel like your words are not going to be as meaningful or whatever, Whatever you have to say will be more than meaningful. And you even got like, you even got to do a public post. Like a public post would be cool, it would be beautiful. But just check up on your black friends. Like honestly, like ask them how they doing. Like what are they doing? Like the other day I was chilling, I got an email from my chancellor. He emailed, I think every black male on campus, cause we don't got that many black males. But he emailed every black male on campus and he put his number down at the bottom. He said, call me personally if you have any questions, concerns, are you gonna let your emotions out? Like stuff like that goes a long way. Like he's saying, I'm here for you, stuff like that. Like just check up on your black friends. Ask them how they doing, how they feeling. All types of stuff, but that goes a long way. So overall, the whole situation is it's a fucked up situation, but it's like, it's beauty in the fucked up situation. Does that make sense? Like, it's beauty in the chaos. It's weird. Like, I seen a post, they said, like, black people are finally exhaling after 400 years. And that's where it, it kind of feels like that. So, uh, yeah, make sure y'all praying for George Floyd's family, you know, all the black people in America. Just, you know, stay prayed up. You know what I'm saying? And that's the only person we got in this world, God. Uh, yeah, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe, all that. We come in with content. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know. I've been gone for a couple of months, a lot of weeks and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Ain't been this. Honestly, keep the whole butt. I'm gonna keep the whole butt free with y'all again. The whole pandemic, that fucked me up. That fuck, cause if y'all know, most of my videos, I be interacting with people, be in colleges and stuff like that. And so when the pandemic came, that kind of fucked me up. I ain't gonna lie. I was at the crib, like, what is going on? Like, I can't make content. It's, it was like, but yeah, we back and you know what I'm saying? The, the uh, outside is starting to open, so yeah. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, all that. We out. Probably still vote.